Hi guys, it's Kaylin here. Let's start off with clearing the air for this pick a card reading. I already um, shuffled and cut the cards. So if you picked pile number one, this is for you. If you resonate with this, you're part of pile number one. And just think about what you're trying to get out of this reading so I can get a clear understanding. This is pile number two. And this is pile number three. So let's begin with pile number one. And I'm going to time stamp it below. So, pile number one. Thank you. This is for you. Okay, so I already cut the cards, so let's begin. First card Seven of Wands upright, Five of Wands upright. Knight of Cups upright, King of Swords upright, Princess of Swords upright, Six of Cups upright, Ace of Cups upright, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Death upright. Ten of Swords upright. Sorry, Three of Swords upright. Four of Wands in reverse. And Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, let's see. For a small group of you, I'm getting that you might feel like everyone is out to get you. Or you might feel like you're always battling, you are always fighting for something. And it's just you alone with the seven of wands here. And next to the five of wands, it's just like there's always something coming towards you. And you might be fighting off. Honestly, you might be fighting off people offering you a relationship. Someone maybe more emotional, another person maybe more logical and cold. So you might just be getting a lot of attention, pile number one. And you could be really passionate about a craft, or you might be into something focused on yourself, I don't know. Uh, it just might be you doing your own thing right now. It's like you have to fight off all of these people coming your way. <clears throat> um, someone might keep offering, like someone might be continuing to offer you something and you keep telling them no, you're not interested. With the Princess of Swords right here six of cups like they just keep coming back with different offers and you're just like no 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 um because the one that you want to hear something from isn't offering you their cup they could be a um earth sign 
since this is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, they could be an Earth sign. The people above that were offering you something. Okay, something else I'm getting. The people above that are offering you something could be uh, a water sign, Pisces. I wanted to say Leo, so maybe Leo as well, but Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Um, you yourself might have fire in your chart. Fire and air. Um, they might be a water sign. And... They might be water and air, and you might be fire and air. And the one that you're waiting to hear from is an earth sign, like I said. You want to, you want that cup to be offered from the Knight of Pentacles. And another way I was reading this is you could have been telling this person no, you're not interested when they were offering you something, and then when you started offering them something, um, they went reverse, if this is the same person. So this could be like a running running after one another, chasing each other back and forth, which is um, common with twin flame relationships, if this is the same person. And it's like you guys go back and forth. Um, but for a big group of you, the, the, this is these are different people and you're just waiting to hear from this knight of pentacles who isn't offering you anything they are closed off they're going through a transformation could be a leo um they could be they could be fire and earth the person that you want to hear from. Um, they could be going through a major transformation. They could have just lost someone. A relationship could have ended, something like that. They're not seeing things clearly right now. And they're guarded. They have their blindfold on. They're definitely not in a place to offer you anything. But you're not interested in the other people offering you something either. They could feel betrayed this Nine of Pentacles. Something stabbed them in the heart. And they don't have anything to offer you. So. If you're wondering about this Knight of Pentacles. They're not in a really good place to offer you anything. So. Yeah. And for those of you who this is the same person. And that first they were giving you all these, this attention and love. And offering you so much. And then as soon as you wanted, as soon as you figured that they were the one for you, or you were gonna offer them a cup, they went reverse. Um, it's because they're going through a major transformation right now. So. They don't know what they want. That's what I'm getting for pile number one. Hope that resonates with you. Okay, so pile. Oh, that did not. It's not good. Pile number two. This is you with the moon. Okay, it's. I'm back. Okay, so pile number two. Let's get started. You have the Four of Pentacles upright. 
Princess of Cups upright. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles upright. Ten of Cups upright. Oh, this is crazy. The Strength reverse. Nine of Wands upright. King of Cups upright. The Moon upright. And Eight of Cups upright. Okay. All right. So, pile number two. I'm definitely getting the sense that you are the moon. You picked the moon. So, with this moon here, you are the moon. Um, you might be... trying to manifest something you feel boxed in with this four of pentacles upright you have a lot of emotion to give with the princess of cups You have a lot to give with the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups here. You are the prize. Um, okay, yeah, this is what I'm getting. Someone, I'm getting that you are taking I'm getting that this is like a these are like some games being played by someone like you have a lot to offer and it's like someone you just fall head over heels for every single time like you offer them a little and they take from you and they just keep taking with the princess of cups they might just be like the type of person that just takes and takes and takes and you offer them more and more and more because you don't have the strength to stop um, you know, you're dealing with the Leo, Cancer, Leo Cancer Cusp, Cancer Leo Cusp, um, Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini. I'm getting the King of Cups is also you. Like, you're the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the King of Cups. Um, you feel caged in? Or this is the other, this is, hold on, this is the other party. Okay, this is the other party. you okay hold on i'm getting a lot of different messages here so for some of you you might be in a situation with someone who just takes and takes and takes from you okay and you keep offering them all these different things but you don't have the strength to stop it i'm not getting the devil energy here um but i am just getting that you don't have the strength to say no to this person but they have their guard up towards you and you just keep offering them all of this love because maybe at one point they were the Princess of Cups offering you more than what you were giving them. And now the roles have been reversed. You see, like it's been a change. Um, and you might think that they are your soulmate, but... I 
I just, guess, I just feel like they're playing games. And you're a very emotional person, you're a very giving person, and they have their guard up, but you keep giving to them. It's like once you get rolling, you can't say no. And it's like they're not satisfied. I'm getting this as other party now. It's like they're not satisfied by anything that you give them. And you're just so giving, you're so loving, and they just aren't satisfied. They just keep, they, they seem like they're distracted or something. I'm not sure what they're going through, but they're definitely distracted. I don't see anything. I wouldn't even say that they have a bad energy about them. You might really like their energy, but I'm just seeing that you are giving way too much to them. And for some of you, you're in a relationship where you guys are doing really, really well, but um, I don't know if someone's interested in IVF, I'm getting that, like you want a family, you might have the finances, the love to offer. For some of you, okay, I'm getting that you have, you guys had an IVF, um, IVF journey, and you have enough money, you have enough emotion, you guys are really stable in that regard. Um, but... Something about the strength here in the Nine of Wands. It's like you don't have the strength to keep doing this again and again. You might not have had any luck. And it keeps happening over and over where you guys don't actually end up carrying a child. And your partner might just want to keep doing it over and over again. And you might just be too emotional. You can't take it. Sorry, that's my cat going... That's what I'm getting. And you might be wondering why this isn't working for you, why you can't have kids or something like that. You just feel alone, like no one else gets it. And your significant other is trying to offer you help and you just don't feel like it's working. Or you might be trying to adopt or something like that. Like there is just something about you having enough money, having enough emotion to give to a family or to someone else, but it's just getting harder and harder. Your walls are getting going up slowly. And you're, it, it was the 10 of cups, now it's eight of cups. It's like you're losing that princess of cups energy if this is you. And yeah, that's what I'm getting for pile number two. Good luck with that. Pile number two. Um, and then this is pile number three that. Okay, so we get five of cups first, three of cups, four of cups, five of swords, king of pentacles, upright, these are all upright, guys have that, six of wands, upright, Queen of Wands in reverse. 
two of wands in reverse and the seven of swords upright. Okay, I'm getting that some of you should check out pile number two, or you might have also watched pile number two. So what I'm getting from the star is that you're being triggered with these five of cups to be in a relationship, to start a family, and you might be meditating on how to do that. You have a vision in mind. You might be dealing, or you might be a Gemini, might be dealing with a Gemini. Um, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting. Um, so yeah, you might be triggered to start a relationship. You might be meditating on what it is that you actually want. Trying to manifest that. And you might, you might be at a point with this five of swords of knowing exactly what it is that you want or who you want or what type of person it is. And with the six of wands next to the queen of wands in reverse, something spirals during your manifestation of a family, of a person. Someone might be reaching out. You might be having problems with your family pointing fingers or something like that. It just seems like it's rocky like a spiral out of control type of situation. Um, and by the end of it, you could be the Seven of Swords. You don't have the patience to deal with it anymore. You keep trying to manifest something over and over again, and it's just not working. Yeah, I think you should definitely watch the pile too. too. Or you have, or you're from the pile too as well. Something just isn't working, and you might think that someone could be looking elsewhere for fun, or your partner might be looking for someone more fun, or something more fun, or they might be wanting you to have more fun. But then something spirals. This Queen of Wands. Like it might have been all fun and games until something happened. And then the Seven of Swords, yeah, comes into fruition and it just becomes super hard to handle. I definitely think this the same energy of Pile 2 is in this pile, or you have the same energy you're from Pile 2. Um, you just don't know why it keeps happening. Let's see, I'm gonna pull one more card. The pile three. People might be falling left and right. Pile three, God, sources. High priestess in reverse. So what I'm getting is that your priorities Are not focused on yourself you're focused on this or you need to focus on yourself instead that might be why something isn't working out the way that you want it to it's because you this is a time for you to focus on yourself you're putting too much pressure on another situation that you want to happen and you need to put that behind you right now 
then if you are from pile two, you like wanting to start a family or you knowing that you have a lot to offer someone else, you need to put that into yourself right now because it's just gonna keep falling apart. It's gonna keep failing until you prioritize yourself. So that's why it's probably not working out. There's something that you have to learn about yourself first. Or the situation you're in, I'm not sure, but there's a lesson that you have to learn. Before you can manifest this family that you want or this relationship that you want. That's what I'm getting. So I hope that helped you. I hope that resonates and gave you a sense of clarity. Bye.